Hey everyone, Speed Generations here. And today we have Sonic Prime Wave 4. Um, if I sound sick or if I'm snuffy or anything, seasonal allergies are back. I'm not the only one. I'm pretty sure there's way more other YouTubers out there that have that right now. So, as the time of recording this, I have seasonal allergies. I don't know how long it's going to keep going on for, maybe to the next video. I don't know, but I just got it like last weekend, so... Yeah. Anyway, um, we're gonna start with Baton Rouge. So here's Baton Rouge. No place. She's got her sword. And, um, well, unfortunately, Black Rose didn't come with her, so it's a little weird that they gave Baton Rouge a sword, but they decided not to give Black Rose the sword. 15 points of articulated. Actually, does she have the most in the wave? Trooper Sonic. And then Renegade. Yeah, she's got the most, because the other two only have 13. Um, Baton, freaking camera won't focus. Baton longs for the good old days when pirating meant more than collecting coconuts and grilling sea dogs. <laughs> sea dogs, I remember that. Sonic loved those, though. Did not stop him. Here's the other ones you can get. Obviously, this is just for re-release. These three are the only new ones at the time so let's open her up okay wow that's a bit too much light there but it's dark out for me so i want you to still i still want you guys to be able to see this um so i kind of just turned this on i don't know if it was worth turning it on or not i don't even know why i decided to record this at night i could have recorded this during the day anyway um she was kind of a struggle to honestly get out of the box. And, uh, <laughs> because this thing felt like it was super glued tight. So I couldn't open it from the bottom like I usually would. So I had to open it from the side, which took a bit of, uh, time, but that's okay. So we have Baton Rouge here. Honestly, out of box, she looks even better than being in box just sitting in a box for like days or months or whatever but she looks a lot better out of box i will be honest so um the articulation on this figure obviously the wings back here and these wings are a lot better than the 2.5 inches because i know for a reason my normal rouge uh, for the 2.5 inch one, the wings are starting to just detach on me. Uh, her arms here can move, but this one's got the sword in it. Still can move. Hold on. You can also do that with the other one. I'm trying to be careful at the same time. The head, it can barely move a 360 with the wings like this, but I think, put the wings back you'll be able to get like a side to side kind of thing, not a full 360 due to the wings, as I said. Um, she can kick back and forth here. And she can also do full leg right there. I also kind of miss the Jazzlers ones where they could like rotate like around here or something. That would been cool if the five inches had that, but that's okay too. Cool to have this though. Um, this is only, this is our second no place figure. We would have had three if Jax didn't decide to cancel no place Sonic on us, which kind of sucked because I did want no place Sonic. Um, here she is compared to the two point five inch counterpart. Give me a second. The five inch stands way better than the two point five inch. I will be honest about that. They're basically the same, if you can tell. The only, yeah, I gotta make sure you guys can see them both, so hold on. Yeah, their expressions are basically the same. Nothing's really changed. The only real new detail I see is that she's got, like, the patterns on her shirt here. Got the little, hold on. I don't know if they're really patterns, but, yeah, all that. On her wrists too. Uh, that the two point five inch one didn't have that. 
No fur detail for the 2.5 inch one either. None of that little pattern stuff on her shirt. As it goes for this one, it's got a lot more detail. And as it goes for the fur texture on all of these, that's been out throughout wave one through three. It seems like wave four has kind of stopped it. And the wave three 2.5 inch went to it. I don't know what was the big change all of a sudden for all of these. But I think it might have something to do with... Some of the people not liking the fur texture or just Jax was kind of rushing in the middle of this because they knew when Amazon and a whole bunch of people were going to get their hands on these and whenever. So they kind of just rushed it out. I'm not too sure what their decision, their final decision was for this, but it's okay too. Uh, this probably, there's this is probably another reason why I can't, no, that, yeah, that won't affect it. Yeah. Yeah, that won't affect it. That's way too high on the top. There's a little tail, by the way. So yeah, this is honestly a great figure. All the detailing is on here. This is the better version of Baton Rouge if you really wanted one. The 2.5 inch one is good as well. It's just I find this one a little bit better because of more detailing is put onto this one. And the scaling. I, I don't know. I just like the scaling on this one better and how it you know compares to the other ones. So good job on this one, Jax. Next, we're going to move to one of my favorite Sonic Prime characters. Renegade Knuckles. Okay, probably that. That light's probably too much, isn't it? Sorry, guys, if it is, I'll, I'll put, like, a warning in the beginning or somewhere where I turn on the light or something. Anyways, here's Renegade Knuckles right here. 13 points of articulation, and let's zoom in here to see... What the bio says a freedom fighter with the new york city resistance nux fights tirelessly to free the city from the grip of the chaos council pretty accurate Alrighty, i'm just gonna take him out already i'm excited for this one okay so apparently it's not just baton rouge that has the problem with the box that's really hard to get out um it's all three of them my guessing sonic trooper is as well but again, uh, my Renegade Knuckles came with a damaged kind of packaging, so I figured it'd be easier to open. And the Trooper Sonic on the top, it's kind of like already um, wanting to come out. So I don't know. I find that a little weird that it's hard to like open. But yet, when Amazon gave me Trooper Sonic and Renegade, they were already damaged. So it's kind of the boxes, at least. Uh, it's kind of weird. So. Renegade Knuckles. This is one of my favorite Knuckles Knuckles in Sonic Prime. I'll be honest. It's just the way his character is. Whatever, you know. I just... I love I love this Knuckles, okay? It's my favorite Knuckles. No one can tell me otherwise. I wish in the New York City pack instead of... I don't know, Rusty Rose. We could have gotten him. Like, I think we really need him. Like, this... I, I don't think I've ever had other favorite version of Knuckles before besides this one. So if they can kind of take that sort of characteristic trait and put it in Knuckles a little bit, or at least a little reminder of that, that'd be kind of cool. But I don't think they are because, you know, normal Knuckles and Renegade are different. So um, right off the bat, I'm going to point out that there's supposed to be scars on Renegade Knuckles. And... I think it's supposed to be, like, right here, and then somewhere on the side of his... Okay, they didn't forget about these. They just never um, painted them in, so they look all red. Just all red marks is all it is on mine. But they did forget one, which was, like, right here or something like that. But they did get the rest of them, so that was kind of a missed opportunity because they seem to rush on all these figures that they make, even though most still turn out great. Uh, the expression on him, I do not like either. It's it's kind of look like he's bored or something. And I don't know. I don't think that fits him whatsoever. And I feel like that fits more of like gnarly or that fits more of like, I don't know, some other version of Knuckles. But this one, I don't see it. He should be more of a serious kind of way. Like that render model that we have of Renegade Knuckles uh, surfacing on the internet somewhere. That one, that expression I like. So, Jax could have taken the time and put that expression on him instead. 
I bet if they do continue with the Prime stuff and they do do another 2.5-inch pack, then yeah, the 2.5-inch Renegade Knuckles will definitely have that, but I don't know if I can see the Prime stuff continuing anytime soon, but we will see. Uh, so since there is no 2.5-inch Renegade Knuckles, um, there is a Gnarly Knuckles. So we will compare him to that. The 2.5-inch Gnarly Knuckles does not count because... Uh, that's more meant for him, not for him. So obviously the big differences here is, you know, he's from the Boss Cage Maze. This one from New York City. Um, and it kind of seems like these are the same in a way. They're just like, kind of like recasted or something like that. And they just didn't really... Oh, fire... I probably actually showed my face that time, so that's that's great. Um, don't worry, I'll edit that out. Uh, okay, so I do see a difference here. This one's got three instead of two. So yeah, it, it's sort of like a same version of Gnarly, but at the same time, it's also like, you know, um, a new kind of one at the same time. So I feel like they're definitely new compared to these guys because this one's kind of got like a shade outline in his eyes and this one barely even has it uh for the other for the whole rest of it i mean it's just basically they put more effort into gnarly than they did renegade and that kind of disappoints me because renegade knuckles is my favorite while gnarly knuckles is an okay character i like gnarly but he's not my favorite I kind of questioned why they did that for Wave 2, but hey, what are you going to do? So yeah, uh, there's Renegade Knuckles. We'll take a look at his articulation real quick and move on to the last figure. So the articulation, obviously, he can move his knuckles all around. Um, he can kick back and forth. I'm trying not to do it too much because, believe it or not, this one will, will... Um, fall apart actually fall apart like break and you'd have to get a new one so be careful as possible when you get um renegade knuckles that's the only one i know of so far from the new wave that has that problem of breaking so like i said be careful um be aware you know stuff like that so yeah um there you go that's renegade knuckles and I can't really point out much difference of a detail either, by the way, between the 2.5 one either, because from what I've seen from the images of him, it's pretty spot on, except they forgot like a little mark and they just, they got too lazy and they didn't want to really color in the, or like shade in the eyes, you know, the marks on the side of him. Like they just, they got lazy and gave up and called it a day and put him in the box and sent him out to Amazon, Target, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of lazy on their part, honestly. But uh, I still really appreciate this figure and I'm glad we got him. Even if this is the last wave of Prime stuff, I appreciate finally getting him because I was waiting to, of course, also have him side by side with Sonic and the rest of the Neo cast. Um, the most characters we've gotten out of any... Um, Shatter Space has been New York City for the five inches <laughs> because we got Sonic 9, um, Rusty Rose, Renegade Knuckles, um, Dr. Deep, and Mr. Dr. Eggman. So, yeah, we got the most cast of those. Oh, yeah, Chaos Sonic 2. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, that's, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, because. For the 2.5 inches, we only get three each of uh, the shatter spaces. So we don't really get much compared to what we get with the 5 inches. So they've really done a lot for New York City. And I felt like they should have done a little bit more between from New York City and Boss Cage Maze and No Place. But it's all right. I still appreciate what they did. So there you go. Renegade Knuckles, and time to move on to our last figure. By the way, <laughs> here you go. Here's um, Baton Rouge with uh, 
Thor or fuck, really? My mind's everywhere tonight. Anyways, here is Baton Rouge with Black Rose. I forgot to show that off as a comparison, so sorry about that. I am, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of in a rush since I'm not feeling well, and on top of that, um, other things. I've, I've got to, I, I, this is gonna be too much information, but I gotta use the, use the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. That was way too much information. Sorry. So here's Trooper Sonic, and obviously we can compare him to the 2.5 inch one and Chaos Sonic. I have them both with me. Here is this one, created by Nine to be his loyal emotional friend, emotionless friends. The Grim Army are a legion, legion of robots in mold of Chaos Sonic. Interesting. Let's just open them up. Here is Trooper Sonic out of the box. Now, this one was actually the easiest to get out since mine was more damaged on the top. So that meant I could just do like that. So now it's like, yeah. hold on, let me just, yeah, I, that. So yeah, that was a lot easier for that one. So um, if Amazon sends you a damage package of Trooper Sonic like mine or for Renegade Knuckles, be lucky, because that means you don't have to go through so much crap just to get them out. Um, here we go. Now, I will say I'm disappointed that we did not get Alpha Grim Sonic, as the leaks told us we would get. I feel like Alpha Grim Sonic kind of just makes more sense to have than um, Trooper Sonic. But at the same time, if you wanted to make it custom, you're free to just make that. I mean, I think all you really need to do is just change this piece right here and make it red. I, I don't know if you need to change necessarily anything else. But, uh, yeah. Um, the articulation on this guy, I gotta be careful with him too, because I'm not sure if this one is also, like, broken or going to break on me. That's what I meant. So, he can move. This happens every freaking video. Dude, what the f- Sorry about that. Anyway, his arms here can move around fully. My arm is too big. can barely see the whole figure. Um, that little joint here can move. Arm can go full 360, so can this one. Feels a little weird now having him out of box and trying to keep his position, like- his two arms down now it looks just weird so you can kick back and forth too his head can go full 360 obviously now you're probably wondering why did i bring out chaos sonic because i had a feeling this would happen even if we did get alpha grim sonic um i probably would have or wouldn't have gotten him even if we got no place sonic or not i was not going to because here's the reason why they are a bit changed in a way. Obviously, Chaos Sonic is a bit smaller than this one, and their eyes are definitely different. Uh, hold on. They definitely are different. The eyes are different in every way. But that's not my point here. My point is their body areas here sort of look the same from the same mold. And I'm pretty sure their heads are just exactly the same. And the back looks the same too. Look, right here. See some similarities? Yeah. I'm seeing them too. So I feel like they took the head of uh, Chaos Sonic and kind of just plopped it on here. Made it a bit bigger. Sort of took the torso of Chaos Sonic. Not really, because I mean... It's a bit different compared to him. And they kind of just, you know, changed it. So it's kind of a lazy choice because I had a feeling they were going to re-mold um, Chaos Sonic. A little unfortunate, but it's still a little bit different. So I'll take it. It's better than not having a more different Trooper Sonic. Here's the 2.5 inch one compared to Trooper Sonic here. So, obviously, just a smaller version. Most of the same here, so... Yeah, not too much different. <clears throat> so... That was, um... About it. Really was, so... 
that might be the end of the Sonic Prime Waves. I, I'm not sure. I really think it is, though, because think about it. We got a re-release, and I don't think we would have gotten that in the Waves if we were uh, still continuing with the Wave. Therefore... I think this is the end of the Prime stuff. As much as you guys keep commenting, oh, don't worry, there's going to be more, there's going to be more, they still have more to do, that does not mean they're going to make more. I mean, I I kind of doubt it. With the movie stuff, they did a Wave 1. Everything was new. Wave 2, they kind of just took the original Sonic Tails and Knuckles and boom, made them different. And then they took the Super Sonic... For some reason, he had green eyes, and then they re-released him with the red eyes. I still have yet to get the one with the red eyes. Uh, yeah. So that kind of tells when the wave is over, you get a re-release for the wave. Uh, I, I still apologize about the light again. I'll get to editing this, and this will be posted a couple days after. So meaning today when I recorded this, this will be... You only you'll see this like a couple days or so later because I I don't know I don't feel like uploading it right now, so yeah unless I change my mind we'll see how that goes. Um, hope you have a good day or night. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.